Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey and this is Linear Equations, part of my IGCSE Edexcel exam question series. Linear Equations is such an important topic because it pops up in pretty much every area of maths, so it's a really good one to master. There are common questions at the start of this video and then we move on to uh, questions where you need to form your own equations and then solve them a bit later on. Okay, let's get it. First question, I have um, x's on both sides, uh, but I've got a fraction, which is really annoying. So to get rid of a fraction, uh, which in this case is divided by 5, I need to multiply both sides by 5. So the left-hand side becomes 5y, and the right-hand side, this divide by 5 and the times by 5 cancel out completely, so I'm left with 2y plus 1. Do not div multiply the numerator by 5 because then you won't actually be um, keeping the equation correct. You'll be timesing by 5 twice, essentially. Okay, now at this stage, we pick the smallest uh, y term, which is the 2y, and we subtract it from both sides. And this gives me 3y here, and then the y and the 2 minus 2y will cancel to get 1. And then we divide both sides by 3 to get 1 over 3. Okay, classic question here where we have x's on both sides. So whenever I see x's on both sides, I pick the x which has the smallest value. And in this case, it is 4, and I subtract it from both sides. So let's take 4x away from both sides. The left-hand side, these two will cancel, and I'll be left with minus 13. The right-hand side, I will have 17 as, uh, as, as it still is. And then I have 8x minus 4x, which is plus 4x. Next step will be to isolate the 4x. So I need to remove the 17. So I'll take 17 from both sides. Minus 13 minus 17 is minus 30. These two will cancel. And I'll be left with 4x over here. And then I'll divide both sides by 4. So I'll get minus 30 over 4 is equal to x. And I might want to put that into my calculator uh, to get a decimal of minus 7.5. But either is fine. Okay, next question. I need to expand the brackets first. So expanding these brackets will give me 5x plus 15, and that will be equal to 3x minus 4. I'll then have, because I have x's on both sides, I will look for the smallest x, which is the 3x, so I'll take that from both sides. 5x minus 3x is 2x. The 15 stays the same, and this will cancel with that, and we're left with minus 4. And then I want to isolate the x, so I need to remove this plus 15. So I'll take 15 from both sides. And the left-hand side becomes 2x, because this will cancel with that. And I have minus 4 minus 15, which is minus 19. And then finally, I will divide both sides by 2 to get minus 19 over 2. And I think I will leave that as a fraction, which is absolutely fine. And just a quick way of double checking that you made the right, uh, you've got it correct. You could type into your calculator five lots of minus nineteen over two plus three, and that will give you minus sixty-five over two. And then the right-hand side, you can write three minus nineteen over two minus four. Oops, uh, minus 4. And you get the same answer on both sides, which means your equation is correct. Uh, so your solution is correct to the equation. I've got a pesky divide by 3 fraction here. So I want to remove that first off by timesing both sides by 3. Whoops, let me write times by 3. But, and that 
will cancel with this divide by 3 here. So I'll be left with 4m plus 9. And on the right hand side, I have to times everything by 3, which will give me 21 minus 6m. Now, I always move the smallest m term or uh, variable term, x term, in this case, m term. And the smallest one in this case, you might think is 4, but no, it's actually minus 6, because minus 6 is smaller than 4. So I need to do the inverse operation to minus 6m, which is plus 6m, to both sides. This gives me 4 plus 6m, which is 10m, plus 9 stays the same, 21 stays the same, and this minus 6m will cancel with this plus 6m. Next step would be to isolate the m, so I need to remove this plus 9. I'll do that by minusing 9 to both sides. This gives me 10m is equal to 21 minus 9 is uh, 12. And then I divide through by 10, and that will give me uh, 1.2. Okay, next level up, we've got a fraction, we've also got a bracket. So I'm going to expand the bracket first, and that's going to give me uh, 6x minus 15 is equal to 9 minus x over 2. I'm then going to multiply both sides by 2. This is going to give me 12x minus 30. And this times by 2 is going to cancel with this divide by 2, so I'm going to be left with 9 minus x. The smallest x there is negative 1x, so I'm going to add x to both sides. And that's going to give me 13x minus 30 is equal to 9. I'm then going to add 30 to both sides. And that's going to give me 13x is equal to 39 divide through by 13, x is equal to 3. Okay, now we move on to um, questions you have to form yourself. And we have a tin has x buttons, and tin B has four times the number of buttons than tin A, and tin C has seven fewer than tin A. So they already give you an algebraic expression for one of the tins, so that's x is tin A. Um, and it says that work out the total number of buttons in the three tins. Also, the total number of buttons in the three tins is 137. Work out the number of buttons in tin C. Right, so we know the total is 137. And we know that tin A is X. Tin B is four times the number of tin A. So it's four times by X. And tin C is seven fewer so it's x minus 7. And all of those three added together makes 137. Collecting up the x's, I have 6x. I've got minus 7, and that's equal to 137. Adding 7 to both sides gives me 144. And then dividing through by 6 gives me... Twenty-four. But that's not quite right because it does ask for the number of buttons in tin C. And we know that C is equal to X minus 7. So therefore that's 24 minus 7, which is 17. Okay, here's a tricky question. And we have um, a shape here, a triangle, and we're told that these two are the same so therefore that means that these two are the same because in an isosceles triangle the two angles that are um, at the bottom in this case are going to be equal so we can set that 3x plus 10 is equal to x plus 52 subtracting an x from both sides gives me that 2x plus 10 is equal to 52. Subtracting 10 from both sides gives me that 2x is equal to 42. And then dividing through by 2 gives me that x is equal to 21. OK, I can now work out the value of each of these angles, because 3x plus 10 
is now equal to 3 times by, we know what x is, 21 plus 10. So we would do 3 times 21 plus 10, and that would be 73. I'll just double check that this one is also 73. So that is x plus 52. Okay, great, they're both 73 as we would hoped. So y is equal to 180 minus 73 minus 73. Because y is what's left over in the triangle, and the triangle must add up to 180. So it's 180 minus 73 minus 73, and we get 34. Okay, another question. We've got a form our own equation. We've got a hexagon, which is regular, and an isosceles triangle. It says the perimeter of the hexagon is equal to the perimeter of the triangle. Work out a length of each side of the hexagon. Well, all of these are the same because it is a regular hexagon, which means the perimeter of that hexagon will be six lots of x minus one. And we know that because it's an isosceles, then this side is the same as this side, which is x plus 5. So if I were to add up the perimeter of this triangle, we know it's going to equal the perimeter of the hexagon, and it's going to be x plus 5 plus x plus 5 plus 2x minus 3. Okay, let's expand the left-hand side to get 6x minus 6. Let's uh, collect the like terms on the right side. I've got 1x, 1x, and 2x makes 4x. And I've got 5, 5, and minus 3, which makes minus 7, so plus 7. I need to subtract the smallest x, which is 4x, from both sides. So take off a 4x from both sides. It leaves me with 2x minus 6, and then just 7 on the right. Add 6 to both sides gives me 13 over there and cancels the minus 6 on this side. And then dividing by 2 gives me 6.5. Uh, what does the question actually ask? Always go back to work to see what the question asks. It's normally not just find x. It says find the length of each side of the hexagon. We know is x minus 1. So the length is equal to uh, x minus 1, which is equal to 6.5 minus 1 which is equal to 5.5. That's linear equations done. Bosh, such an important topic. Make sure you master it and then move on to the next one. Bye for now.